Thank you so much for once again joining me today for the Path of Ascension. This is our ninth fight. This is a Thanos on Humility. You come over here to your Soul Mirror, you come down to a Thanos. You come over to Humility and you hit Choose. And of course, we've already chosen Pelagos, and I'm going with the Vial of Lich Frost to help me control the boss. So for this, he has four abilities. The first one is Power Swing which is a frontal cleave that if it touches you will knock you back a good ways. So you want to make sure to avoid it by either passing through him or sidestepping it. If he does hit you, it's going to throw you off the stage unless you're literally standing here with your back in that direction and you'll probably land somewhere over there. The second ability he has is massive charge. He'll charge in front line from one part of the stage all the way to the other until he connects to a wall. And if he touches you, he will pick you up and he will drag you to the end of the stage and drop you off to your doom. The third is Shield of Charge. He will take a knee as he depletes his enemy and energy, doing his abilities, which as he takes a knee, two shields will pop up, rotating in either one direction or the other. Make sure to get behind him so you can continue DPSing him. I recommend the side where the shield is rotating from, so if it's rotating this way, I'd recommend standing here to DPS, so that way you're not as the shield. There does seem to be a dead zone where the shield is, but it does not physically exist on your screen. And then for the fourth ability that he gained in Wisdom is Quaking Shockwave, which will do an inner ring that will blow up, and then an outer ring that will blow up. You can easily distance this by ranging it. We'll of course be doing Test of Faith to damage him. Aspirin's Binding to hold him in place. Confront Memories will be taking the haste. It really didn't seem like he was doing a lot of damage, period. So we'll take the haste to help us do damage. And of course, Unleash whenever he can, and it's safe to do so, so that way we don't get hit with a Power Swipe or with a Massive Charge. So I'm going to go ahead and ring the bell, and just like me, make sure you do the same. Also, leave a like, a comment, follow, and of course, subscribe, whether you're watching on YouTube or Twitch. You can find me on Twitch under the underscore dab 86. And for this fight, you do have a two-minute timer. And with all these fights, technically none of them have I actually done in the time. I think maybe Aldrin and Mjolnir was in time. So one thing you can do, though, that I'd like to mention is because of using the one that generates more um, power, you can actually use this to your advantage at the beginning of the fight. So you use Confront Memories. Take any one that you choose, it'll power you up. So as you can see, I'm gaining power. Don't jump off the edge. And then this will allow me to start the fight with an Unleash, and also with my Confront Memories Haste buff. And then I can just go straight into DPSing him. So we're gonna go ahead and power up here. It only seems to work when you use the charm. Any other time, you wouldn't have the energy to do it. And I think that's because the charm allows you to generate um, energy, and then it itself actually gives you back energy when you take it. And then we'll wait until the cooldown's a little bit better. Um, about so that way we can pick up a second haste as well. So we're almost there. One more, and then we should be able to do it. And then we'll get that fight started. And like I said, then this way we can start the fight with an unleash, because you are already pushing the clock on these. Doing them without this, there's probably very set ways to do this with for the Master of Pain or Master of the Path, my bad. Um, so that way you can do them in time. For this, he only has 235k health. It's not much. I feel like Clay would probably tear through him. Because like I said, he doesn't seem to do a lot of damage than just taking the file of Serenity to heal. But now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this started. Pass through him. There's his massive charge. I'm gonna root him. Do that. Continue DPSing. Didn't mean to take the shield, but I had to avoid that. Let's get away from him.
He's doing a massive charge. Get away from him. He's about to take his knee. Keep DPSing him. Here's his shield of charge since he's facing me. It's rotating this way. We're going to go ahead and do this. Do everything we can that does damage. Let's keep DPSing him. And he moved at the last second there. And we managed to beat him once again, passing the time limit. Thankfully, we had our shield there at the end. We missed with the one unleash, which shouldn't have happened because, of course, I hit him during his massive charge, and until he connects, he wasn't going to stop charging.